Hello, all of you vain, gloriously wonderful people. This is the Vapid Cleek Wagon. And I'm about to find out if it'll off-road in the snow. This is our sixth and final episode of Will It Off-Road in the Snow for this year. Uh, maybe forever. No, I think we'll probably have GTA Online again in winter of 2024. Though right now it's winter of 2024, so 2024, 2025... It'll still be here because GTA 6 isn't coming out in 2025. It'll get delayed to 2026. And then we won't have it on PC till 27, 28. I don't know. Um, I don't care, honestly. I, I have no anticipation for the game whatsoever. I know there's a lot of hype right now, but with the way Rockstar has treated gta online and the and the players and just the the gross ugly greed that has made it a worse game i uh, i don't really have a lot of hope that that they're gonna really deliver a good product with gta 6 i think the developers will do a stunning job i think the artists and the story writers and and the voice actors and all those will will deliver you know world-class gaming I just think it's all going to then be held back by a bunch of middle management executives who just want to maximize recurrent user spending and shareholder value and screw us all over. I, I'm, not, I'm not optimistic we're going to get a good game out of it. I think GTA 5 Story Mode was the last GTA good game. It's probably going to be the case. Look at this thing go. Most vehicles won't offer it in the snow. It's a, it's all about throttle modulation. This one is about just keeping it floored and straight. Uh, and it got up. And the, the people behind me that were unable to keep it floored and straight because they bonked into somebody at the very top, um, they, uh, they are now having issues. Um, yeah, I just, I just kept the hammer down and... Surprisingly, this thing did just fine. By the way, regular World Off Road, the Chop Shop season, uh, will resume not next week. I believe this video is going live on the 5th of February. I'm pretty sure I'm recording this voiceover on the 5th of January, but pretty sure this will go live on the 5th of February. And then on the 12th, we'll have a Human Fall Flat video. And then I'm pretty sure Will It Off-Road Chop Shop season will resume on the 19th. The video's already uploaded and scheduled. It's the police car and the Dominator? Question mark? Yeah. Uh, something like that. Uh, anyways, uh, so look forward to that. And then we'll test all the vehicles that came out on release day, plus anything that's come out since then. Uh, and then it'll go on break until we get more drip feed. Because uh, you know Rockstar is going to carry that drip feed till probably June or July. So it'll be it'll be fun, question mark. Most likely we'll not be able to test the uh, Park Ranger edition of the Classic Ranger. Because um, it's not available on PC currently. I'm kinda, I keep hoping that... Uh, once support for Windows 7 and Windows 8 drops for uh, PC, that Rockstar really won't have a good excuse to not bring it. I, I really think more than anything, though, it's about the fact that you know they can't sell the game again to PC players. It would just be an update they'd have to give us for free. And therefore, they can't make money off of bringing it to PC, so I, I, doubt, I, I doubt they'll do it. But... At least they made a clique wagon that, that did all right in the snow right up until this point. Uh, which time it becomes a big, big, big struggle. Um, yeah, this turns in not as bad as the Segoy that we saw a few weeks ago, but... It, it, it's still pretty bad, and it's just trying to get it up this last little bit. You know, it doesn't have a whole lot of power. It's a pretty slow wagon. Uh, and then on top of that, it doesn't have the grip that uh, its namesake uh, sedan or coupe has. Um, 
plus all the little bumps and everything, just unsettled traction, and it just... It gets up there. There were several times, by the way, I thought I was going to fall off and go right down the mountain. Uh, which, uh, spoiler, uh, not a good parking spot there, Hobo. Probably not the best place for you to have parked, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how that turns out for you. Uh, we have Raven, by the way, as usual, in the top right corner, Hobo in the top left. Uh, but yeah, this thing just, it had a time. Uh, so much that we have time to talk about a few things, and the first of which is... I'd really like to have you take part in not only Will It Off-Road recordings, but also our community streams and other community videos uh, that get uploaded here on my YouTube channel. All you have to do is join the Vainglorious Discord server and then be playing the game on the platform that, that we're playing. Usually that's PC, but Nintendo Switch is available as well currently at, at the time I'm recording this voiceover. I only have Mario Kart, but I'm planning on getting other uh, games that, that we can do. Multiplayer kind of thing doesn't want to start. It doesn't have good breaks either, by the way, even in, outside of the snow. I'm trying to go around this bush, by the way. That's that's what's happening now. I'm trying to go around the bush, see if I can't find a way up. I think I've got it, though. I, I think I see what went wrong there. Hobo was trying to guide me a little bit as well to, to tell me to go left of the bush, but over to the right once I get past it. Yeah, lots of different things. Um, but yeah, we'd love to have you take part. And even if you can't take part in the recording, we'd still love to have you on the Vainglorious Discord server. If you watch Will It Off-Road, you're already part of the Vainglorious community. You may as well make it official and join our community server where you can hang out with us, talk about... Uh, SUVs, that's the, the topic of today in our uh, car chat channel, uh, and cats and just technology and video games and all kinds of stuff that we have on the Discord server. So we would love, absolutely love to have you. This is it. I think this is the run. I think this is the one I get up. Pretty sure. Looking at the time it turned in and where we're at right now. So yeah, to the right of the bush, but then, or to the left of the bush, but then to the right so I don't bump as hard and... Yeah, so yeah, that, that parking spot for Hobo didn't turn out so well. But we are up! Seven minutes, one second. So, will it off-road in the snow? Yeah, um, but <laughs> there's definitely a yes but on this one. Don't do it. You don't want to do this. Uh, it was not a fun time. It was unpleasant. You can see there's currently only one person. Well, Hobo's in my car, so you're going to get the same perspective from Hobo in the top left for briefly. That will change. Um, but, uh, yeah, his car fell all the way down the mountain after he helped me get up. Uh, Donkey, you can see the in, on the mini-map in the bottom left there, still way down at the bottom of the mountain. Raven made it up, though, in his Volker or whatever the hell that thing's called. Um, Fakaloa? I think that's his name. Yeah, I think that's his name. And also my nemesis, because it bumped me just enough that I wasn't able to stop or slow down for that corner. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you see the problem here, but I have a tree at the right front, but I also have a tree behind me. Um, that tree behind me is preventing me from doing the burnout thing to get the back end to kick out, uh, away from everything. Cause if I could have just done that and just swung the back end out to the left, I could have at least fallen down the mountain. I know there's no hope of me getting back up from here. But, yeah, it wouldn't even do the burnout thing. Um, so it's just stuck. But it's not a DNF. Um, and while I'm typically not allowed to have help from anybody else, I was contemplating getting out on my own and hitting it with my up anatomizer, but I probably would have fallen down the mountain. So... A little out of tradition of bullet off-road rules. We let Hobo help. Uh, but he paid the price for helping. And gets stranded at the top of the mountain. I have no idea. Oh, no, I remember now how he gets down. I'll let, I'll let you watch and see how that plays out. But I remember now how, how he gets down the mountain. I'm trying my best to not make this a massive damage descent prematurely. Um, and, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it, it's... 
it, it is shedding a few body parts. We definitely lost the front bumper already. Um, maybe the rear one too. I think the rear one comes off by the time I know. No, it is off already. Yeah, we've, we've lost both bumpers. I think they catch up with me because we've seen one of them there. I think at one point both of them are in a little pile side by side. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we've already seen that. There's one of them. Yeah, I don't know where the other one... Oh, there's the other one! I knew we saw both bumpers at once. I love it. I think it's kind of hilarious. Um, but we're working our way down for a controlled descent. I am trying to make it as controlled as possible. But we already saw it's the lack of brakes in this thing and the lack of grip that was kind of its downfall. And I think it, even if we hadn't have been booped, we probably would have fallen off somewhere else anyway. So I wasn't watching the top right corner. How did Raven wind up in a minivan on the wrong side of the mountain? Huh. I'm going to have to, uh, I have to pay more attention to uh, to what's happening, I guess. Yeah, Hobo decided to just parachute down. Can't say that I blame him. I think this is the first time I've ever driven through the sawmill on a control descent. Uh, I don't think that that's ever happened before. Uh, <laughs> at all. But we're getting there. We, we are slowly, slowly, very slowly making our way to the bottom of our control descent. And we are finally down 3 minutes, 40 seconds. So we'll go back to the top of Mount Chiliad and fling it off the side and see what type of additional damage it can take. Uh, may or may not have Hobo's footage in this since he's in a helicopter. I'll decide when I make the edit. Uh, but we definitely have Ravens in the top right. By the way, you can check out... A uh, less edited, uh, ad-free version of Wood Off-Road, as well as all of our community videos. That also includes our Discord conversation instead of this commentary. Uh, by being a channel supporter and being a member of the Vainglorious Discord server, you got to do both. Uh, and then you can become a channel member right here on YouTube. Just click that join button, which comes with an added perk of getting early access to every single video I upload. Sometimes it's just a couple hours. Uh, sometimes, like in the case of this video you're watching right now, it is going to be uploaded on January 5th and available to channel members to view. Um, so, you know, just sitting there waiting for you to watch it. You could have watched it a month ago if you were a channel member. Uh, the second way is a become a Twitch subscriber at twitch.tv forward slash uh, forward slash Glorious Gaming. Third is make a monthly pledge over on patreon.com forward slash Vainglorious. Or fourth, on the server itself, Vainglorious Discord server itself, uh, pick up a server subscription. I don't expect anybody to do any of those things, but I do greatly appreciate the support that uh, some people have shown. And if you would like to join those ranks, I do my best to give you extra stuff uh, in a way to say thank you. For your generosity so never never expected always always appreciated man this thing is struggling even on the damage descent we are bumping all around hitting every single thing that we can but we're ready to try to jump over the wood pile that was never gonna work in this car i don't know why i even tried uh so now i get to struggle to even get out of the ditch there we go and we are down two minutes, seven seconds. Let's take a look at the damage on the clique wagon. All of the windows are gone and most of the lights are missing. The hood, the bumpers, and the left door are somewhere up on the mountain. And the other door in the hatch will not close. Plus, it has uh, bent wheels. Not significantly, but they, they are bent. That front left is looking pretty rough. There are our support vehicles. Donkey's sitting on his butt for some reason. Not really sure what happened there. Uh, and then that happened as well. So that brings us to our next vehicle. Uh, by the way, the clique wagon, I want to say, was chosen by Hobo. I think Commander Hobo chose that. But the Pano La Carousse. I love this little car. Absolutely, absolutely love it. It turned in a fantastic time uh, when we tested it when it first came out. Uh, it's like the third fastest car up the mountain. Um, and only like 
seven and a half seconds slower than the fastest, which was the Dragur, uh, or Dragur, however you say it. Um, so, definitely expecting really good things from the La Cruz. Uh, however, it is Ruble Drive, and it is snowing. And yeah, this thing's a grip monster, but when you take away just a little bit of that grip, it makes a huge difference. And because of that, and because it's just instant full power the second you touch the throttle, uh, I really struggled with keeping the back end actually at the back. Uh, it wanted to come around constantly. Basically, any time I was on the accelerator at all and trying to turn, the back end tried to come around. You can see it wiggle and, and just kind of get unsettled constantly in this run up the mountain. It's not to say it wasn't fun. It was a lot of fun. But I think if this thing were all wheel drive, it could have flown up here in the snow. But it's not. It's real wheel drive. Not everything has to be all wheel drive. But it, it, it definitely had its challenges. And on top of that, not only does the back end want to come out anytime I'm putting any throttle in, any steering input, even when I'm going straight, and it's, it's really hard to, to tell because we don't see the car from the side all that much. Uh, and you, we don't have like engine noise to really gauge it by. But a lot of the times, even in a straight line, the wheels still haven't fully hooked up and are spinning. Uh, several times during the climb, it was just wheel spin. Like right here, you, and you could tell because the back end it get, continues to want to try to step out. It was just wheel spin. And, you know, in a car like this, it's like, well, do I just drive really slow and get a bad time because I drove really slow? Or do I try to push it and then correct the wheel spin when it happens? And I went with the latter. I think that that's probably the quicker way up than just, you know, sitting there at a quarter of the throttle all the way up and never having the back end step out. But also, ooh, that was some weird flashing things. Um... Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was from the Avenger that is there. It's a ghost Avenger, by the way. Uh, it did belong to Commander Hobo, but he returned his to his facility, but yet it's still there. It happens. Uh, sometimes when you're out of range, when you return it, it just doesn't go away. It just chills and, and, and hangs out where it was. Making the final little climb not even really an issue for this car. I mean, again, lots of wheel spin, but... Very manageable, and we are up. Three minutes, two seconds. So, will it off-road in the snow? Absolutely. That's a phenomenal time. Though not quite as good as it did in the dry, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, but in terms of where it stacks up... Oh, snowball on the windshield. In terms of where it stacks up against all the other 80 vehicles that we are... 79 other vehicles that we have tested as of this season of will it off-road... It is 18th, so up there in the top 25%, not too bad. It is a second and a half slower than Reinhardt, and a second and a half faster than the Itali RSX. In terms of the 13 sports cars that we have tested, it is fifth. It is uh, 7.6 seconds slower than a Schlagen GT, and then of course that same split to the Itali RS RSX that we mentioned just a moment ago. And then comparing to how it did in the snow to how it did when we originally tested it in dry conditions, it was 42.4 seconds slower in the snow. Uh, in dry conditions, I have the spreadsheet open over here on my other monitor. It was a 219.58, specifically a 220. Um, yeah, it is uh, a big difference. That little bit. Uh, it's not a little bit. It, 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 it's a noticeable traction loss that you get from the snow. Plus, your cars tend to slow down a little bit uh, in the snow because the terrain just suddenly all becomes off-road. Uh, though I don't really know what the traction loss on this car is off the top of my head. Though I do know it just took out a hiker and it just started with a clean strike. Uh, looks like the Jester is struggling a little bit up there in the top left-hand corner. Uh, surprisingly, Raven is has done really well. He is missing a window, but 
Yeah, Raven usually doesn't get up and then back down the mountain with that incident, but has he done? Has he managed to pull it off today? I don't know. I haven't been watching this top right-hand corner. He's been watching what I've been doing, so who knows? Um, coming down around the last little bit of dirt here, and like I said earlier, even though this was a challenge because the back end always wanted to step out, I had so much fun with this car in the snow. Like... I, it was a, a toss-up for my final pick of the season between this and the Monstrosity uh, just to see how they would do. Because the Monstrosity did really well up the mountain as well, though nowhere near as well as this. Uh, well, actually, no, they did pretty well. Only about a second and a half slower than this. Never mind. Um, we're down, by the way, 2 minutes, 24 seconds. And I guess we'll wait. Let's be able to make some jumps. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, we'll give them time. But yeah, I had... an absolute blast with this car and had a whole lot of fun with this season of little off-road in the snow and i do hope you'll be able to join us for our next season we'll still be playing gta online on pc next winter don't worry we will but we're back to the top of mount chiliad where we are going to fling all the vehicles off the side and uh see what type of damage they sustain it looks like um uh, Raven already had a damage at some point now because he's missing his front clip and the door. Uh, he may have been missing those earlier and I just didn't notice. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of wrestle our way down the mountain. Um, just boot each other occasionally, you know, slam our doors into each other. Quite literally, just pick the door off and slam it into the car. We don't need that door. What's a, what's a car door ever done for a person? So useless, other than, you know, protect you from weather and have, you know, crash beams in the side of them so you don't just squish as much when somebody in their massive pickup truck doesn't see you and runs you over. Um, <laughs> uh, pickup trucks. Oh, is this a thread the needle? Oh, a thread the needle to wrap up World of in the Snow. That makes me happy. I didn't even realize that it happened. I, I thought I had hit something, but nope. I made it through, so very cool. Definitely uh, the lightweight of the car caused me to get bounced all around. Can I make it over the wood pile, though? No. Almost. Almost. But not meant to be. But at least I made it over once this season. We are down 1 minute 27 seconds, so let's take a look at the damage. And it's not a lot. Most of the windows and two headlights are gone. Uh, the the panels that open won't close and the wheels are ever so slightly bent but that's it i mean there is no damage model on this thing apparently at all so there's that but we'll take a look at our sport vehicles from the front wow <laughs> wow and then again from the back and that'll do it for this season of will it off-road in the snow again regular will off-road for the chop shop season We'll be back in two weeks from today. Uh, in the meantime, you'll be able to watch a, a fun Human Fall Flat video that we recorded months ago uh, and is just now going live. Thank you so much for watching. There are 10 trillion things you could have watched on YouTube today and you chose my little video, so I appreciate that. And until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.